welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, the inconvenience of being a Christian. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Knowing not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. But God be thanked that ye were servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that from the doctrine which was delivered you, being then made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. Romans 6, 15-18 have you ever thought of all the things that you could do if you weren't a Christian? Do you ever go back in time when you didn't have to get up on a Sunday or go to church on a Tuesday? That your life was sort of free and you could mix and mingle with whoever you wanted to and had no care in the world? Do you remember when you didn't have to be obligated to pay tithes or to give offerings, but you could use that for some bills or buy something for the kids or something you needed? Do you ever want to go back and dress like you wanted to go and get your hair fixed and your nails done and you were just considered normal like everyone else? Isn't it a inconvenience being a Christian with all these do's and don'ts? Don't you wish that there was no demand in your life to do something you didn't even understand anyway? Have you ever thought I enjoy good preaching and the music as long as it doesn't make me want to change? I love my pastor as long as I know he's preaching to someone beside me and not me. Wouldn't it be more convenient just to stay home and watch the preachers on TV and hear the same thing over and over again? Why didn't God make it easier for us to serve him without all these demands and all these do's and don'ts? All this stuff about sacrifice and giving and praying and fasting and all this other stuff he expects from us. Now most people could be that kind of Christian. No laws, no expectations from God. Just simply believe and be saved, go on eating, drinking, marrying, and having a good old time. Why? 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 Well, I'm glad you asked. Let me tell you. Sacrifice is the proof that you are loved more than you're worth. God could have created a sinless world without a devil, without debt, and he did. But he gave man a right to choose. God is not a dictator. That is why he gave us the will to pick and to choose who or what we will serve. Man without a free will is a prisoner in his own body. Christ came to make us free through his sacrifice. His life was for our life. Our love for God is not expressed by the giving of things, but by the giving of yourself as a living sacrifice. Romans 12 reminds us, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Paul went on to say, And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. John reminds us in John chapter 3, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That was an inconvenience to God, but he did it out of love. So whenever time you might feel like being a Christian is an inconvenience, always remember that God faced the inconvenience first. He could have done away with this world. You and I would have never existed, but God through his mercy and his grace made a sacrifice just for you and I. He was beaten, spat upon. He wore a crown of thorns. He carried a cross while losing blood. He was nailed on a cross. This is what he went through for you. He did not consider it an inconvenience, but rather a sacrifice. While for you, you are troubled that you have to spend three hours in a church listening to somebody preaching. <laughs> I would say it's not an inconvenience. I would say it is your reasonable service. The thought of the day. We can never pay back God for what he did for us. So all that we do for him is just considered as being reasonable. God bless you today in Jesus name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated.